<laughs> All right, let's talk about stretching. So it's a huge debate going on as to whether or not you should even stretch when working out and when you should stretch out when working out. Um, some people say stretching before hurts you. Some people say stretching afterwards hurts you. I prefer to stretch before and after a workout. Now, I had this huge little uh, presentation together for you. What well, was short? This presentation I was going to do that had a balloon, which I stretched out and then blew up. And you can see how easy it was for me to blow it up and vice versa. Without stretching it out, trying to blow it up. And it was very difficult. But once I looked at it on camera, it didn't look too good, the demonstration. But um, what it means is that when you stretch out your muscles, you stretch them out. It helps you so as you don't hurt yourself. You know, your stretches are already in a form where they can build versus just being there and being compact. You want to stretch them out a little bit. And I'm not telling you to stretch them crazy where you're just out of shape and all that stuff, you know. But just, you know, a nice stretch to warm up your muscles always helps them out. So what I'm going to do today is just going to show you a couple stretches that I do before every exercise that I do well before I start working out. And normally after I work out, it may not be ex immediately following the exercises, but once I go home or once I get to the car, or once I get outside, I'll normally do some more stretches. So check them out. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And um, here we go. All right. Here's a couple of exercises that I do to get ready to work out. Um, no assistance needed so one of the things i do is put my legs together and i just pull down on my calves believe it or not i feel my calves stretching here and also my glutes try to hold them for about 10 seconds hopefully you can get past my socks here then i put my legs together and kind of press down on my, my elbows, pushing down on my knees, opening up my hips there. Holding each pose for about 10 seconds. Try to speed it up a little bit for you guys. I also get on my knees here. I know you remember this from elementary school. Sitting like on your heels so if you see the back of my foot here, I'm sitting on my heels and then I pull back. So I just lean back a little bit. And what that's doing is taking my quads and stretching them out. So a lot of people ask, do you stretch out the, the parts that you're working on? I normally do. I put a little bit more emphasis on whatever body part I'm working on that day. But I try to stretch out my entire body every time because without that flexibility, Ah, the rest is just a waste of time, right? <clears throat> so then, <clears throat> I sit here, put one leg in, pull my foot here, take my hand, push on my knee, put one hand back, and I twist. So once again, stretching out those glutes and stretching out that back, lower back, and also getting a little bit on the abs there and I do it both ways pull the leg in press down here get a little bit of stretch there so I'm taking my elbow and pressing down on my knee again put my hand here and twist so I'm pushing on my knee here pushing to help myself twist not over twisting but just doing it enough to where as I can feel it a good stretch so then hopefully you got your bands because I always have mine I lay down but I take the band and put it around my foot the middle of my foot lean back come forward and pull what that's doing is stretching out that glute again maximum stamina's like it's stretching it out. So if you have that lower back pain, this will definitely help you out. 10 seconds there, notice my other leg straight down, come up, do it with the other leg. And the reason I use the band is because it'll make sure that I'm not over pulling it. 
because there's resistance and pull. Try to keep your other leg down, pull it. And of course you do it 10 seconds each time. But for me, showing you guys, this is something I do. It's quick, it's easy, it takes about 10 minutes to do. If you stretch it all out, you know, real good. So then of course, come across the body with both arms. Mm. And you feel it is stretching out the back, also the traps, some shoulder. And then I try to get those pecs a little bit. So I take the band, and if you have the wraparound band, the one that's just a consistent band and no, no hooks, just put your hand in one end, go around my head, and pull back. So I'm taking this hand here and pulling the band to help pull it around my head. And then doing it with the other side. Oh yeah. That's just a little bit. So that was it, pretty much easy. Um, real quick stretches. I have some other stretches that I do with the bands when I'm in the field and you know, I it's a lot more stretching than I'm doing right here, right now. But stretches and stretching is very, very important. Please uh, check it out, do your research. And, and also, you know, what we push for this channel is do what works for your body. If your body doesn't feel good stretching before and after a workout, don't do it. I'm just showing you what I do. But I think it's very important that you do stretch, you know, because a lot of athletes that get hurt, they find out if they were stretching may not have gotten hurt, especially when you get that lower back pain like me. Normally those glutes, um, good stretching normally helps that out. Hey, thanks for watching. Enjoy you, enjoy life and enjoy fitness in that order. The summer is now. I'm Rufus Patterson. Ah.